Hello friends, welcome back to this session of innovations in marketing, marketing of innovations and I was about to answer this question of how to resolve innovators dilemma with a perspective of go to market strategy. And before I go ahead, again there are two references which are very important and a very good contribution towards this kind of a question you know in terms of how but with perspective of go to market strategy. One is Friedman 2012, this is by Rutledge and then V K Rangan transforming your go to market strategy the three disciplines of channel management Harvard business press good contribution. And this these kind of contributions you know they are again as I say evolution in terms of as far as the marketing understanding goes and that is what marketing discipline of marketing requires and you know an ever evolving understanding with lots of perspective around how to serve the society better. This morning I was having a discussion with a very renowned professor of marketing who has served this country well and we were chatting in terms of you know a casual discussion. Uh, we were sitting in front of each other and uh, that, that kind of a casual discussion led us towards as far as what marketing should actually do as far as this whole world goes and we were on the same page and that is what we have been discussing in this course as well. And he mentioned this ethical aspect of marketing as well. So as of now this is beyond the domain but remember wholeheartedly if we pursue innovation to serve the society well, it the, the, the question of ethics usually does not comes there because then it is for the good of the society and that is what we are talking about, that is what we are trying to pursue. So, let us let us think in terms of you know go to market. It is fascinating by itself you know and if you look at this with the perspective of being a marketer you would realize that let us go to market. You know thought of reaching people with whatever you have is itself very motivating because then it gives you a directional element. What are the aspects which we have to work upon while thinking about you know in terms of going to market the question comes in where? which market? Is it just to be resolved through targeting and targeting and positioning for that matter or there is something which has to be brought on board as far as the whole situation goes. And when we are thinking in terms of going to market is it related to scale, scale based reach of reaching to market that we have to produce so much that we have to go to a particular kind of a market, reach to that market or we can think in terms of non-scalable production and non-scalability or limited scale whichever way we want to look at it if we want to think in terms of go to market. Well I would say that we have both kinds of examples and you see here while we are talking about these kind of subjects I strongly recommend that you keep on reading the uh, references which I am mentioning along with that try and find out good research papers from different sources whichever is convenient to you and Google Scholar definitely has lot of uh, you know resource base available for you wherein good authors and good journals they are continuously writing upon different aspects of these kind of subjects. So, uh, in, in one of the papers you may find relationship of scalability or scale in terms of going to market and some other would say that there it is it is not so much required. So, limited production and limited availability of whatever you have at hand may also enable you to go to market if you are you know if your approach is right. But the point is where and which market. So, the next question comes is that is there any model on this? that you do this and this will take you to the market. That means you have a right target, right positioning in the mind of that target 
and that fix every, fixes everything, then you have a channel, you reach through that channel and go there, that is all. So, for example, you are Amazon and you procure from all the places around the world and you reach to the, all the places to this world. But then Amazon is largely one and there are few others also, but then that is very limited kind of sort of, okay, that is also fine. But do we call this go to market? Yes, we may, but then this can be expandable to almost all the marketers. You see, a model has a replicable value and this takes us towards when we wonder about that, you know, let us look at it, let us look at go to market with the perspective of some industry, let us say renewable industry, wherein you require and you see this course is all about innovations in marketing and marketing of innovations and I would be coming to marketing of innovations, but, but this particular section innovators dilemma and go to market we are talking about. Uh, uh, we are referring to both the ends simultaneously. So, for example, let us look at renewable industry. What comes to your mind? Solar, up and down motion of sea waves, geothermal, sugar cane based experiments which have been done in terms of developing fuel cells or something else. What comes to your mind? Printable solar cells, would that constitute a change which is required by as far as renewable energy in solar mode goes. If we have printable solar cells everywhere in this world when people are able to print their own solar cells and if it, it is not that common you have vendors who you just go and you know get the solar cell printed and come out and uh, paste it on the wall and just you know start transferring uh, that the, those solar rays through some mode and you know energy is being generated small hydro equipment which you just go buy and put it in the water and the energy starts coming to your house sort of a generator which you have uh, intermediary sort of I am not a, th that kind of a technical person who would be able to tell you this, but renewable energy and go to market. So, let us look at this and let us try to wonder on what can be done in this regard. Then let us look at let us say 4D printing and I mentioned this I remember you know a couple of sessions back probably. So, 3D printing, 4D printing, shape memory alloys. So, we are developing a technological uh, you know strength in terms of developing products and reaching to market. This technology itself can take us to the market. That means, take the product and the service to the market. So, if you have control on technology and technology can be taken there, then the product can be produced there itself. That can be one perspective associated with that as far as the go to market go to market perspective goes. Then there are some you know composites through which you can produce new kinds of products. Metaplast is one and there are several kinds of when I talk to my metallurgy friends they tell me so much you know development is going on in terms of as far as composites go and uh, you know it is a wonderful science wherein they are putting in so much effort in putting up two different kinds of materials together and whole whole lot of a new product structure is coming up. So, that is one part and remember when we are talking of uh, this we are simultaneously referring to B to B and B to C. So, there is no large difference in as far as the whole thing goes because we are talking of in terms of reaching to the market. Uh, go to market for example, defense supplies reach everywhere wherever it is required. You know, even if you know defense equipment is being produced in limited number of countries, India is now very capable in uh, terms of uh, that kind of an equipment. So, we are reaching everywhere, but again the point is larger plant capital equipment and capital machinery and so on. And in many books I was I was reading one article this morning or, or uh, I think some portion of a book uh, one of these books which I mentioned just now and newspaper you know went through a leap as the book says in terms of as far as when, when technology evolved and that technology enabled newspapers to further go to the market and that is where then then newspapers they focused upon that they are into the business of content rather than just being a newspaper and then that content went ahead in terms of reaching to the market. 
and today we are into the business of content, uh, news content rather than just newspaper and that is how we, re we they redefined as far as the whole situation goes. So, composites, cold chains, today you have wonderful vehicles which can transport goods, uh, you know fruits, vegetables, those kind of things as fresh as they can be and then you take them to those godowns which can keep them as fresh as they can be and retail chains also have that kind of a structure available with them and today you know uh, for example, products like Amul milk can be transported to anywhere in this country and from anywhere more or less. So, these kind of cold chains have enabled as far as go to market strategy goes and we are referring to go to market strategy with reference to different kinds of industries. Let us not forget about you know movies and I talked about Netflix in my last segment. While I am thinking in terms of movies, I, I you know wonder that can we somehow differentiate go to market strategy perspective in terms of if we say that the products which have developed unlimited reach in terms of the customers, internet based products, transmission based products, media based products that you relay from anywhere and reach anywhere. So, can we differentiate go to market strategy, go to market perspective with this kind of an aspect and if somehow we can do that, then this broader bifurcation would bring us closer to this understanding of strategy in terms of go to market and resolving that dilemma, innovators dilemma and answering that question of how as well simultaneously. So, if we say that somehow you know uh, let us differentiate the industry which has the products which have you know developed unlimited reach. So, products which have developed unlimited reach and then definitely you know media based or medium based products kind of or services, entertainment, sports, information based products, movies and so on. You, you have whole lot of world around this and I do not have the exact statistics I would request my team members if it is not you know not if it is feasible at all then if they can bring in some sort of a data on this you know what kind of a cumulative revenue is being generated in terms of all the products which can be transmitted from this place to that place to the customers directly OTTs, movies, sports and what everything including you know this education this this these kind of courses through NPTEL these kind of courses through Swayam, these kind of courses through Coursera and, and so on. There is a huge, huge industry segment which is associated with this. So, and then you can keep on you know counting on those types of products and services. Then you can think in terms of necessity based products. Now, necessity based products, this is very interesting. Necessity based products and defense based products despite of you know I would not say differences, but despite of unavailability of processes between the countries or non compatibility non you know uh, trade trade based non compatibility between countries despite of this somehow necessity based products are never stopped. There we come on the terms. So, necessity based products for example, in COVID-19 we saw about you know vaccines traveling from this place to that place that is a convention sort of that in case of need which is required by almost everyone we would help each other and there are several conventions associated with as far as you know uh, these kind of things go at, at a larger level uh, which is beyond the scope of this course to discuss here, but definitely. So, necessity based products for example, fuel, energy in different form 
although prices they play a definite role in these kind of products, but then you if you have to transport fuel from this place to that place then you have set pro procedures in terms of as far as going to market and the countries which are producing fuel they have this go to market strategy in terms of in raw form uh, because if some country has availability of refining those uh, products then definitely they would try to buy that, those things in raw form and so on. Some other products like sugar for example similar kind of thing although not so uh, intense kind of a process or not so you know uh, so deep kind of uh, requirement or uh, pressing need should I say but then sugar is also one of those products essentials I would say salt of course one of those products and these products are not found everywhere in this world. So definitely they are to be exported from this side to that side those are different kinds of conditions wherein you know uh, bilateral arrangements have to be done or multilateral arrangements have to be done but again necessity based products and many times products are not so, ne so much of uh, necessity based category but then you can definitely cast a new category wherein you can say that distribution strength based kind of as far as go to market strategy goes. If you have enablement in terms of for example if a country is strong in terms of shipping, if a country is strong in terms of carrying goods from this place to that place and for example India is you know, quite strong in terms of as far as the shipping capability goes and several other countries even smaller countries they have huge ships available with them to enable different kinds of transport from one place to other uh, other place you know there are there are specific companies in small countries like Denmark which are very capable in terms of transporting goods from this place to that place. So regardless of the size of the country you have larger organizations working there then you have uh, you know countries like China who have enabled themselves with the capacity of transporting goods through railroads from this place to that place and uh, you can uh, you know surf about it that they have long distance trains plying in with lots of goods from one country to the other country and they have created those kind of arrangements with different kinds of countries which are coming in between. So that is what precisely you know when we say that this can be categorized as distribution strength based go to market strategy. And once we are trying to broadly categorize this uh, you know uh, go to market strategy in accordance with the you know products uh, in terms of you know uh, unlimited reach or uh, technology based capability necessity and then distribution strength if and then we may add one or more two categories here as per our understanding in due course of time but I could do that broadly within these three categories. Now if we try to do this then somehow we can think in terms of developing a strategic orientation by bifurcating different kinds of products into different kinds of categories or uh, you know and then thinking in terms of reaching to the customer wherever the customer is and this will resolve the situation of scalability and non-scalability in due course of time. This will enable us to become the part of market procedure and part of innovations in marketing as as far as whole of the situation goes for example we are not the generator of that innovation in marketing but we can become the part of that process for example if I have something which this world would love to pay for and then I can utilize you know I, I can be for example if I can categorize my product as necessity somehow or let us say I can utilize the distribution strength of one of the organizations or one of the countries wherein I can take part into that process marketing process I definitely can move my innovation to this place to that place. One or two more interesting things which can be added to this discussion here is you know somehow I was wondering that either we need wings to reach to the people you know you, you, you can fly anywhere from this place to that place so you can go to any market somehow or you that means you, you have wings and you transfer the products so whichever way you know you, you can talk about media or medium as wings and necessity based products also you, you have larger drones carrying fuel tanks somehow it's, it can be imagined in distant future if not near future 
or or you you just can lift the complete train you know this, this whole of the carriage to reach somewhere and just put it there somehow you have wings you have very 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 large wing pushpak viman is there and then you can carry any load on that viman that that carrier now if that is the capability then you can go to any market with whatever goods you have available with you and and uh, pushpak viman doesn't requires any fuel for that matter so if we develop that kind of a technology and then we are trying to do that you know for example planes working with solar planes working with wind so you don't have that kind of you know fuel requirement in terms of as far as these carriages or vehicles go if you can do this that is fine but on the other side if you can't then you just have to shift your know how i have a set production process i take that production process to the other part of the world and put up that production process with the local resources and source the raw material whichever is required in due course of time that may bring in some constraint but then definitely that has to be worked upon and then you see knowledge and then processes at the localized level and generating that thing into a go to market strategy that is the second option now if you look at these two sides and you couple up these two sides with all these three aspects of product which can have unlimited supply or unlimited reach necessity based products or distribution strength you would realize that those two elements can have association with any of these three categories for example if you have a technological know how in terms of finding oil resources in uh, several countries and you take that technological know how to those countries and then you you know try to find out the sources of oil which india did many organizations did and then you you know upstream that resource and then you refine that resource and you utilize that resource so know how came from somewhere or you developed that know how even in case of necessity based products distribution strength if you can't take all the goods from this side to that side then you can definitely have know how transferred in many cases you bring some parts from some part of the world and then assemble those products over there which many organizations have been doing in due course of time and definitely uh, you know media based products it's a different story altogether so that is and even many many times even if you don't carry any larger know how or technological know how you just carry design and that design can be coupled up with the locally available technology and human resource and that product can be produced locally then at least you have a solution to a problem you have an option not as comparable or as good as actually uh, its actual shape but somehow you have that design to be utilized as a part of know how which can generate a particular kind of a process we did this in case of several courses we did this in several uh, case of several you know other things we did this in case of several procedures and so on you can definitely think in terms of providing services from distance through ai as of now and that is where these these worlds of you know uh, taking that know how Uh, i would not say exactly through distribution strength but taking that know how to the market and the products which have unlimited reach this can be coupled up somehow for example you know you would have heard of these procedures uh, which can be performed through distance for example a surgeon is uh, performing uh, surgery from a different end of this world through ai procedures and robotic procedures and that surgery is being performed with the help of experts here or somewhere uh, but uh, you know that surgeon is performing that surgery and uh, you know robot is helping that surgery to be performed you know distance ai based kind of uh, procedures which are being done nowadays consultation we are doing at, uh, a lot in terms of as far as medical and healthcare goes Uh, molecules are being developed in terms of medic uh, medicine somewhere and then uh, you know uh, drugs and uh, you know medicines are being manufactured at some part of the world and so on so this there is a meeting point between these categories as such also and that is again a go to market 
strategy in due course of time. Uh, I, I remember on the lighter side and uh, I would not say that it is a standard procedure, not at all and there is a disclaimer that please do not take it as you know a suggestion at all, nothing, it is on the lighter side. Uh, you remember when uh, this scene of three idiots wherein uh, you know Mr. Chachar uh, performed this, this uh, you know delivery procedure of that child and the doctor was guiding uh, him on, on as far as internet goes and he utilizes this vacuum pump and you know he was not a medico but he was being advised by a doctor and he locally performed that procedure and child was delivered somehow. So, you know that that is a meeting point basically that knowledge is being transferred procedure is being done. AI based meeting point is more stronger wherein surgeon, act, surgeon actually is performing the procedure and robot which is very precise in terms of as far as movement goes is doing that and local locally doctor is being watching that that kind of a process as such. So, you see at the end of the day we realize that go to market strategy is an innovation by itself. Just reaching to the customer and market is not the end of the world. You have to be innovative in thought, pro, thought process of whole this, this whole of this procedure basically. Sometimes you realize that if you have that kind of a brand strength wherein people would definitely buy you from anywhere in this world. So, then definitely you do not have to be so strategic in your approach or you have such a you know such a brilliant renowned brand ambassador that your name can be sold through larger number of products wherever they are, wherever they are produced it does not matter, which form they are produced does not matter. You can differentiate you know the products in terms of their geography, but your brand once carried by a product and uh, you know a brand ambassador is being associated with that the product sells. So, product itself uh, itself a brand or brand ambassador supports that product. So, that is where you know the, the need for innovation in terms of reaching to the customer may be reduced, but that is not the reality of life. Reality of life which we are trying to pursue here in terms of strong competition from all around the world in terms of so much which is being done around the world in terms of all the products and all the services which are being produced and marketed at this moment. The, you know the, the reality of life is innovation, innovation in marketing and marketing of innovation and that is where go to market strategy has to be understood deeply and reflected upon and taken as an innovation in itself. I would be coming back to you with lots of inputs on this very interesting subject definitely you know which I have been pursuing through uh, all through for n number of years now and hope I am quite hopeful that you are liking it, you are you are you know dwelling upon in terms of as far as this whole subject goes. So, till next time, goodbye.